If you've been following my channel for at least a year now, then you know I love gaming and anyone who's a true gamer eventually puts together their own version of a dream gaming setup. It doesn't matter how many consoles you have, where you place them, or what size of TV or monitor you go for. As long as everything in that setup makes you happy, it's your dream gaming setup. I'll admit that it's not something that's cheap to do, especially right now with the way things are in the world. Game consoles are extremely difficult to find and purchase at their original retail price. For me, I've slowly purchased all my next gen or now current gen consoles over some time and contrary to what many of you may think, nothing was handed to me for free or easily. I've had to work really hard for everything I have and I'm grateful to be able to finally build my own dream game and setup. What's going on guys, it's Midas here and in this video I'll be explaining how I built my gaming setup in a closet space in order to maximize the amount of space available to me. I've chosen to build it in a closet in my studio because I've always wanted something unique as my space for gaming. In the past, I've always had a single console at a time which I just placed in whatever room had the best display. Most of the time that ended up being the living room. I tried setting up my game area in a small room at my old place but it was cramped and stuffy. It wasn't getting enough air so I took it apart shortly after. I put it together and told myself one day I'll build myself something better. If you haven't seen my recent video on how I transformed a small bedroom into my workspace and YouTube studio, you should definitely check it out before watching this. The link will be at the top of the screen for that. That should give you some background information on the room with the closet I've decided to use for this process. I've always wanted a separate space for all my gaming consoles that didn't distract from my work. It had to be one distinct space for my work area and another for my game area, all within the same small bedroom. I'm all about maximizing space as I've always had very little available to me. I could have used just about any part of the house for my gaming setup like the living room or some part of the basement, but I thought to myself, if I'm going to set up an area for something I love doing, it had to be unique and unconventional. Initially, there was no hope of me creating this fantasy in such a small room and I was already considering giving up and setting up my consoles in the living room to avoid having everything cramped up in my studio space. The perfect idea came to me when I saw how large the closet space was, and since I didn't need a lot of storage space in that room, it was the perfect hideaway spot for my gaming setup. I immediately began to construct a plan that would allow me to bring my idea to life. I was determined to get it done no matter what, so I made a note of everything that I needed to get it done and all the items that needed to be purchased before I even started the process. The first step I took was in preparing to convert the space from clothing closet to gaming area. The space was already in the color I wanted. The white really prevents the room from looking extremely dark because light reflects off of white. First thing I did was take off the wire shelving unit since I wouldn't be needing it. The wire shelving unit was quite easy to take out and all I had to do after taking it off was fill up the holes made with some 15 minute speed dry spackling or putty as some of you may call it. I ran into my first challenge after taking out the shelving unit. There was no power outlet in the closet. I hadn't considered this at all, but it made sense since closets are designed for clothes and so they don't usually have an outlet. It hit me that I could just add an outlet in there to avoid running ugly cables or extension boxes from outside the room. I'd never done this before, but my brother who has owned a house for over three years was experienced at this. He had installed electrical outlets by himself at his own house a few times and was willing to come by to show me the process. He's great with home improvement and smart home tech, so if you're interested in any of that stuff or looking to get into it, you should definitely check out his YouTube channel. The link to that will be at the top of the screen right now. It took him very little time to get my newly purchased smart outlet installed in the hidden corner of the room, which was exactly what I needed for easy cable management. During the process, I also learned a lot about electrical wiring in houses, what tools would be great for cutting down drywall, and essentially how to add an electrical outlet to any part of the house. I know I'll be using those skills again sometime soon. Before the installation of the smart outlet, I'd done some more work in there like installing the frame for the tabletop and the mounts for both the monitor and top shelf unit. As for the tabletop frame, I went through a few ideas but ended up with the most practical one. I installed a long 1 inch by 2 inch piece of wood along the largest wall to hold up one end of the tabletop and on the other end closest to the closet door opening I decided to use two round table legs to hold up each end. If I had installed the table legs outside of the room 
it would have been impossible to get the tabletop into the closet. I had to install the table legs from underneath after placing the tabletop inside the closet. This was not an easy task, but I got it done. The TV or monitor wall mounts was pretty straightforward to install. I found some studs and drilled into them to secure it. There weren't enough studs so I used some drywall anchors which held firm. Right above I installed a 78 inch IKEA lac shelf mount which was similar to the monitor mount installation. There weren't enough studs but I used one stud and some drywall anchors for the others. It held firm and I'm confident it will remain like that. I didn't install the actual lac shelf, the monitor and the tabletop to make it easy to get into the room to install the smart outlet. After installing the smart outlet, the first thing I placed in the room was the tabletop due to how much space it needed to get into the closet. I also didn't want my monitor getting in harm's way while trying to get the tabletop in there. The tabletop type is nothing special. I went to my local hardware store and picked up a large white MDF board and cut it to size. It wasn't exact since walls are never exactly straight. I don't know if you knew that. I could have had some custom work done to get exact size in to fit the closet space, but I wanted some space in around the tabletop. I left about 4 inches of space on either side of the tabletop to allow for cables to go around and under as well as for future plans I have for the space. I also added a piece of white wood finish into the front end of the tabletop to conceal the unfinished MDF look as well as a long piece of 2 inch by 2 inch plywood underneath the tabletop to prevent it from bending over time. Once the tabletop was well situated in there, I moved on to unbox my new 43 inch ASUS gaming monitor. This is not a cheap monitor by any means, but it's the perfect size at 43 inches and also has a few HDMI 2.1 input ports for use with my PS5 and Xbox Series X. Comment down below if you'd like to see a review on this monitor. I mounted the monitor very easily and the fixed TV mounts which I got for a good price on Amazon held the monitor up firmly. The 78 inch lac was even easier to slide on right above. It required a couple of screws to hold it in place as well. I opted for a large shelf to create the look of a shelf that was never ending when the closet was viewed from any angle. To complete the building phase I added another 78 inch lac to the bottom of the closet. This one wasn't mounted to the wall. I tried adding legs to it to make it look like it was floating slightly off the ground but ended up just placing it directly on the floor because there wasn't enough clearance at the top of my PC case when I put it there to test it out. The purpose of this shelf is to hold my consoles and my soon to be built PC. I definitely didn't want any of these electronics sitting directly on a carpet due to ventilation and dust issues. At this point all that was left was adding my consoles, controllers, decor, LED lights and doing some cable management. All of these were quite easy except for the cable management part, but I did my best and I'm happy with the result. Try doing cable management in a tight space and you'll understand that I've done very well. I used cable concealers to match the white wall as well as an under desk cable management tray to conceal HDMI, power and USB cables for everything. I placed extension boxes and large cable adapters inside the cable tray as well to keep them out of sight. As for LED lighting, I installed one 80 meter strip along the top shelf to illuminate the shelf and the top of the space. I installed another 80 meter strip behind the monitor to create backlighting for the screen for a more immersive gaming and to light up that middle space as well. The final 80 meter LED strip was installed underneath the table to illuminate the consoles and the entire bottom space. I intend to add a few more decor style RGB lighting to the wall but unfortunately the ones I'm looking at are out of stock at the time of this video. I'll eventually add it at some point when they're back. I've placed a decor item and my gaming headphones on the top shelf with hopes to add some more items down the line. On the tabletop I've got a black felt pad and I've placed all of my controllers on their respective charging docks just below the monitor for easy access. On the bottom shelf I have all the gaming consoles lined up. This space will include my PC as well once that's built. The final result space is a minimalist gaming setup with just everything that's needed and nothing more. The space will continue to evolve but as of right now it's exactly what I'd hoped for before building it. A separate area where I can enjoy gaming on all of my consoles without any distractions. I'd love to hear what you think about this transformation process so comment down below. I do plan on doing a proper tour of the space and everything I have in it soon. This video's focus is on the building process. 
I'll delve into prices of everything in the tour video, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have notifications turned on by clicking the gold bell icon. I hope you have enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something you can use when setting up your own gaming setup. The process of putting together your dream gaming setup is a sacred act. I'm happy with mine and I honestly don't care if anyone likes it or not. It's mine and I'm the only one that really needs to like it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all in my next one. It's Midas and I am out.